Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. As a fresh Emacs user, I'm going to be using this opportunity to document some of my configuration changes that I have been finding useful for me and hopefully to you as well. So without further ado, let's uh, dive into it and let's uh, install Emacs. There we go. This is going to be the first run. So the first thing you want to do is go to MX, Alt X on your keyboard, and type Customize Teams. And one of the favorite default teams uh, for me is Modus Vivendi. Select it, press Enter. Go to save team settings and there we go. Team is now changed and the first configuration file is written into your home folder and the name is .emacs. So uh, you can close Emacs now with uh, control XC and we can check the file. This is your configuration file. So what I would recommend you to do right now is to move this file to Emacs uh, folder. So later on uh, you will have better organization. Everything will be in one folder and this will be a good start for having your configuration backed up or synced to Git. So this is how you're going to do it. Move. Dot emacs into emacs.d folder and the file is going to be called init.el init.el okay there we go and if you run emacs again you will see that your team is still here and uh, the program remembers it. That's because Emacs looks into .emacs file and if it doesn't find it, uh, it looks into your init.el file. Actually, it's the other way around, but you get the point. And um, I guess this is it for the first video and thank you for watching.